YouTube friends. I'm here in my sitting room and I've been continuing on with the big house tidy up and I can't go any further without mentioning what I'm wearing. <laughs> um, I'm wearing this. <laughs> this is a um, this is a situation where just because you can do something doesn't mean you should. Let me show you what I mean. I'll turn you round. This, I'm in my sitting room. And my sitting room is a very strange way it's laid out. But in the winter time, I put this curtain across and put that light out. And it makes it really nice and warm and cosy in here. I hope you can still hear me with this mic. But when I stand here, I disappear, don't I? I made this top from a pattern by Sonia Philip called um, Dress Number no. One, I think it's called. And I made it out of that curtain fabric. And do you know something? I can't wear it. It just feels like I'm an extra from uh, Sound of Music, Maria von Trapp style. So just give me a second because I can't wear this in all seriousness. I just wanted to show you that, as I say, just because you can do something doesn't mean you should. So wait there, I'm going to get changed. There we go, I feel a little bit less stupid in this. But it's nice fabric, it's nice for a curtain though, eh? <laughs> Carrying on with the tidying then, um, having sorted through a lot of clothes and got rid of a lot of clothes i am moving on to the books because if you're following on with that con marie method marie kondo uh which is that japanese uh girl who um shows you how to um go through all the categories in your house so she breaks them all up which is helpful i'm not going slavishly for it i said that when i was doing the clothes video but the next category to look at is books. I've got a lot of books, a lot. Uh, some of them I haven't even opened the pages of for 20 plus years. So I like when, you, if you ever watch any of her things, she's got a thing on Netflix and she's all over the internet because everybody's trying to downsize, aren't they? Um, but she talks about um, waking your books up. So she taps the little piles of books. Now, I've done this room of books and I'm going to show you uh, how I've reconfigured things. I mean, if you didn't know this room before, you wouldn't see it as being very different. This is my sitting room and this is where I spend a lot of time in the winter because I can light my wood burning stove over there. I've got a big telly and lots of films, uh, which I like to sit on one of these sofas and do a bit of knitting. Now, I've kind of got too many things to sit on. So this one here is spare. I bought that. Now, this is a long time ago now. This is one of the very, very early videos where my dad was coming to stay for Christmas and I bought that for him. And so he sat on that for about a week with the cat on his knee, Norma, on his knee. And then really no one's ever sat on it ever since. <laughs> Uh, and so I think what I may have to do is send that one back to the charity shop, not charity shop, it's a, I bought it from like a sheltered workshop, which gives work to people with learning difficulties where you can donate furniture, uh, they'll do it up if it needs doing up, and then uh, people like me go along and buy it. And I've bought a few things from there in the past, they're really nice people, and they come and deliver, and it's, it's, it's a fun experience. So that chair was that, and it was quite a nasty looking chair underneath. So it's got a green cover and so a bit of knitting on it. But it's too many chairs in here, and it's all a little bit crowded, but also twice the number of books. So let me show you the books. If we look at this room from the door. Okay. Uh, I mean, this is all quite dull, but I've moved, I've moved this bookshelf here was along the back there and there were two of them, one, two, full of books. And so, of course, the sofa was against it. So you can never, ever, ever see the books. So I've reduced the number of books I own by half and moved the uh, thing over there. But then another genius thing that happened was 
This is my vinyl record player here. Uh, and it's on a cool trolley that I probably also got from that place, actually. Um, and I haven't got a lot of vinyl, but I've got enough. And the kids bought me that record player for my 60th birthday. But I never used to use it because it was always tucked away in a corner. Well, having it out here now means that I actually play it all the time, which is great. And so this sofa here... So the quilt on the right hand side is the one that my mum made for me while I made her. I'll leave a link in the top uh, right hand corner to the video about that one. And then the quilt on the left hand side is just, I think it was two charm packs of K Fawcett greens. And I just threw them together to make that there. And then over on this, now this, so I don't know what to do here because that sofa, I'm going to, yeah, let's just open this one up. That sofa and that chair. I had my weekend with my kids just gone. And there was an idea that if I got rid of that sofa and put that chair there, that would be enough sitting down, wouldn't it? So the jury's out at the moment. I'm not quite sure what to do. That dog there, that's Agnes's dog. And she plays with it while she's here. But let's look at all the books I woke up. <laughs> They're on this strange platform thing. My house is very weirdly set out. But um, let's get rid of that uh, big pad there. So all of these books here, all of these, I woke them all up and they're all going to the charity shop in Hexham as soon as I can get them all into my car. There's Agnes's quilt over there, a bit of television sewing over there. And um, so I got rid of a lot of books and which now means then that this room has a bit more of a spacious feel to it. And the books that are in here are books I really like and will use. There are lots of craft books, a few cookery books. I don't use many cookery books and uh, some some other uh, interesting reference books and so on. So I'm happy with that. And I think it might mean that I'll use this room more because it's more pleasant now. And um, <laughs> yeah, I'm just looking under here. That's why I'm laughing because underneath here, I'll get them out. I might as well show you warts and all. I'm going to make a confession now. And I think you, some of you might be able to identify with this. This is an empty book. 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 Oh, look, another empty book. An empty book. You're sensing a theme. An empty book. Another empty book. This one's cool. It's got black pages. So um, I have no idea why I've got that one. I will have bought these books at some point or another thinking, oh, what a fabulous book that is. I'll use that as a journal or I'll do some art in it. And obviously I haven't. So I'm going to not put those away. I found them all when I was clearing out here and I'm going to take them upstairs because the room with the clothes that I was sorting out, um, there's a table in there. The table that I did my jigsaw on all that time ago. Uh, and I'm going to maybe next year I've got some ideas to do something with books. And it might be that I make that the place where all the book stuff goes. So I'll, I'll take these one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight blank books. Leave a comment if you've got more, because you will have. Worse, you know, we're women, we like stationery. I mean, men like stationery too, but women really like stationery, don't they? And you buy a blank book and then it's like, oh, it's far too nice to use. I can't possibly use that. So this room then, I've kind of claimed it back. Oh, there's another thing I want to show you. So we're looking at the wood burning stove, which is behind the um, toilet paper theatre that I made uh, last weekend. But this rug here I made, this is a rag rug that I made. Um, I dyed all the fabric and I made this, oh, I don't know, maybe six years ago, sometime like that. Um, when I was watching Wimbledon. Uh, this supermarket bag here is full of um duplo big lego and agnes plays with that when she comes to visit 
Here's a few pictures of that rug in production. Uh, it was a really lovely project to do. I dyed all the wool, uh, wool blanket, and then there's some cat help, Norma, much younger Norma and Cat Rita. It was a good place for cats to sleep while I was making it with the wood burning stove and the cozy sitting room. Yeah, I really do like that rug. It has faded a fair bit, hasn't it? Those colours look much more vibrant. So this is a very green and pink room. Mostly green, a little bit of pink, but um, I, do, I like it very much and I like it even more now that I've given it a really thorough clear out. Uh, I did look through all my DVDs thinking that I might get rid of uh, quite a few of those because, um, you know, it's so easy now to download films, isn't it? But actually, I quite like them, so I'm keeping, uh, I couldn't find any that I wanted to get rid of, uh, so that's okay. So, yeah, that's what I've been doing. And uh, it's been good. I've enjoyed it. Uh, this back wall here is all the pictures of my kids and um, pictures of things that I love. And then this picture over here. I've talked about this before, but this is a poster that my nephew gave me here. And this is the Fellowship of the Ring poster. And it's signed by all the main actors and Peter Jackson and all the people who um, were... Uh, on the red carpet in Wellington. It's quite a, a piece of uh, a piece of wonderful thing in the corner, that. And Anthony, my nephew, made a frame for it. I love it. I absolutely love it. Uh, yeah, that's, that's that. So, so that, just a quick look at that room then. Just before I go, though, I'm going to say this. I'm feeling really well which makes me realise that I was pretty poorly back there in the summer. It's September now, halfway through September. And so um, right at the end of June was when I started to feel unwell. End of June, all the way through July and half of August, more than half of August, I was properly poorly. I don't think I realise now I feel well again, really well. I don't think I realised just how unwell I was. Um, which has meant that the garden took a massive hit. And so my lovely daughter, Martha, came yesterday and I got to play with Agnes, which was lovely. And she went and did some weeding in the garden for me. Wasn't that nice? So um, <laughs> I'm hoping that um, I feel fine now, but it's obviously we're coming into autumn. So there's not a lot going on in the garden now, except for cutting back and tidying up. But I'm really hoping that next year, uh, I'm going to have a much, much more productive garden. It was a bad time to be poorly, but I am fine now. And so, uh, yeah, everybody who wished me well, I want to thank you all very, very much indeed. Um, yeah, I had no idea. Um, and looking back on some of those videos uh, way back in the summer, um, yeah, I was ill. <laughs> I'm fine now. I am so, I feel so well, I really do. And then here we are in the UK heading for another uh, partial lockdown tomorrow. <laughs> Great. It's nice in here. I spend much more time in here now that it's cleared and tidied. So the next thing in the Conmarie method, well, no, that actually there are a lot more books upstairs. And so what I've got to do is get more of the books and bring them downstairs. That's more of the novels and things upstairs because this is all the reference books that I've sorted out, all the cookbooks and the craft books, all of those. But upstairs I've got a lot of novels and so uh, I'm going to go next and wake them up and bring them downstairs and make them earn their space in my life. Uh, I mean the, the idea that I might reduce what I own by three quarters is patently obviously not going to happen but I could perhaps reduce it by a half there's half the books there and half the books there. So that worked. <coughs> Guys, I've got a big sewing project on the go at the minute. And so I'm going to edit this and put this up for you today and wish you a very, very happy Sunday. But then I'm going to get on with some stitching, which is what I really want to do. I might film a bit and bring you along for that in the future. OK, guys, whatever you're doing, take good care. Uh, be well, be happy. Uh, look after yourself and look after each other. And uh, I will uh, next stop novels.
And then after that, what is it after that? I think maybe kitchen stuff. That would be a good one to do, won't it? Because I've got five times more kitchen stuff than I need. So we'll get rid of some of that next time. Yes, all right. That's a good idea. See you soon. Bye-bye now. <laughs>